Katie, <laughs> what about this nutcracker? No. Look how big it is. You don't need... Who... Who needs a nutcracker that big? I do. Good morning! It is December 13th. I'm Jackson Bird, and this is Vlogmas. And it's snowing outside! I doubt you can super see it. It's very, very small flakes, and I don't think it's sticking to the ground. It looks like it's just melting. It's very exciting that it's snowing, except for the fact that it's meant to be, like, snowing slash raining for the next four days, which includes the day that we're moving. Right now, there's a 100% chance of rain on our moving day. I mean, we knew this would happen with a winter move, possible chance of, like, snowstorm or something. I was just really hoping that it wouldn't happen. And, you know, I had really good luck in Orlando. When I went to Wizarding World, it was supposed to rain all day, both days that we were there, and ended up just having a couple of showers the afternoon of the second day. So maybe my luck will hold out, and for the hours that we're actually outside moving stuff on Saturday, it will not be raining. Too badly. And we've got enough friends coming, maybe one friend can just be assigned to hold an umbrella over someone as they load things in and out. And today I thought I would also share some of the moving like tips and tricks that I've been picking up as I have been going through this process and just share some of the ways I'm like staying organized for this move. Okay, so like I mentioned, I've got some like moving and packing tips for you because I figured since all I'm doing this week is just packing up and moving, I might as well share uh, some of how I'm keeping organized and staying sane this week. Self-care for me often means trying to make myself always feel like at home, whether I'm traveling or I'm super stressed out, if I'm in a different environment, like whatever I can do to still have my creature comforts or be in my routine is gonna make me feel the most comfortable and least stressed out. So we'll get to some of that, but first just some like moving tips. If you are moving soon, here is what I have been doing to stay organized. So each of my boxes are labeled with a room, which in this case it is my room, it's not living room or kitchen, it's Jack, it's my room, and a number. The room, or the name, is mostly just to help the movers or our friends when they come to help us move. The living room and kitchen and bathroom should be self-explanatory, it's not a huge place. And then we're gonna have like paper on our doors with our names so people can tell where every box should go. The number corresponds to a inventory. I have the contents of every box listed out, so as I'm packing I just write it all on my clipboard, uh, and then every evening I've been typing it up into a spreadsheet. This is a bit overkill, I admit. However, I tend to lose things when I move, and I know that I'm probably gonna be unpacking and settling in very slowly over a period of time, so I might have trouble finding things that I need, but when they are all in an inventory in my spreadsheet, I can just control F what I'm looking for, and then I'm like, oh, it's in box number seven, and then I open box seven, and I know I'm gonna find it in there. As you've probably noticed in the background of videos over the years, my roommate and I have a lot of books. Especially I have a lot of books and I'm getting rid of some but honestly I don't want to get rid of a lot of my books like I, I'm kind of a collector I consider them a part of my collection that I just want to have for the rest of my life Ariel Bissett has a great video on packing books that I will link to over there But the main thing to keep in mind with books is that you don't want to pack a big box filled with books because they get heavy so fast. So a great thing to do is when you are packing those big boxes with, you know, linens or clothing or whatever you're putting in, line the bottom with like two layers of books and then fill the rest with lighter stuff. So you're gonna end up having books in like every box, but hey, if you're keeping an inventory, that's okay. I just dropped my inventory everywhere. Ah. And then once you get to a certain point where you still have a bunch of books left over, put them into small boxes. So fill up lots and lots of small boxes. Your house is gonna end up looking like that scene from Tim Allen's The Santa Claus when he gets sent all of Santa's list in those red boxes that just fill his whole house. But you know, at least you can actually lift the boxes. Another thing is that you can totally save on packing paper by just using your clothes, your linens, your towels, whatever. So anytime you're packing something fragile, or you're doing dishware, wrap them up in some clean clothes, fill all the gaps with towels and sheets in the boxes. Good for the environment and you don't have to spend time trying to find packing paper or paying for it, because I don't know about you, but I don't really get newspapers delivered to my house anymore. Another box packing tip is to color code them by priority. You can color code boxes by order of how soon they need to be unpacked. So you could do like red for things that you should unpack on the first day. That's like the dishes that you're gonna need to make your first meals with, or the linens that go on your bed immediately. And then you could label everything with yellow tape or markers that are things that you're gonna use on a fairly regular basis, but you won't need immediately. And then finally, you could label things green for stuff that's like in storage, like stuff that you're probably not gonna use for several months. My last moving tip that I'll share for now, I'm 
might think of more as I do a lot more packing tomorrow. But my last tip is to have like a suitcase or a duffel bag of all the stuff that you're gonna need immediately, kind of like a go bag. Especially once you get to the point that I now have where my dresser and my closets are completely empty, all of my clothes are packed up and taped up into boxes, I made sure to set aside a couple of days worth of clothing which is one reason why you're gonna see me wearing this sweatshirt a lot over the next couple of days. So I set aside a few days worth of clothing, the one pair of shoes that I might wear, hats, gloves, a scarf, because you know, it's winter right now. As I continue going on, I'm also gonna set aside like the cleaning supplies that we're gonna need immediately, any of my electronics that I'm gonna need in the first day or so, and of course, all of my toiletries that I'm gonna need immediately. Which brings me to the sponsor of today's video. So conveniently, today's Vlogmas video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. And I say it's convenient because I kind of feel like I'm traveling right now with the stuff that I'm packing and setting aside for my move. And all of their shave and shower starter kits are just so convenient in travel size, just ready and there for me. So you can bet that this is going in my go bag for the week as I'm moving. And since Dollar Shave Club has been so amazing to support my channel and sponsor this video, as well as just like support me personally during my move with their amazing convenient products, let's take a minute to talk a little bit more about Dollar Shave Club. So we all have our everyday grooming routines and like I said a couple minutes ago, it's really important for me to keep up those grooming routines and anything that feels like a part of my everyday life when I'm going through a big change or when I'm traveling and when I'm just somewhere that's not my normal home. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place so much. So I love being able to keep up with my grooming routine even when I'm on the move. And no matter what your routine is, Dollar Shave Club Yes, that Dollar Shave Club has everything that you might need for your grooming routine. So they have razors and shave butter, but also toothpaste and body wash and shampoo. Everything you could need to help you look, feel, and smell your best, even on moving weekend. So they've got a bunch of different starter sets that you can get. I have here one of their shower starter sets. So it comes with some hydrating body cleanser, as well as face cleanser, some hair and scalp shampoo. I'm really excited about this one. It smells like sage and black pepper which I would never have thought as a combination uh, for shampoo, but oh man, it smells so good. Also in the shower starter set, you get some shave butter, which I love. I do not use shaving cream at all. I always use their shave butter. It's transparent when it goes on and it just feels so much better for your skin. In the set, you also get one of their executive razors. So these are, these are the weighty boys. These are like really solid, good razors. Um, and you're also gonna get a first set of cartridges for the razor. Oh no, I dropped one. And after your first box, you will get replacement cartridges sent to you for just a few bucks a month. Dollar Shave Club has a special offer right now. They are basically giving away their Daily Essential Starter Set to new members for only $5. So in that set, in the Daily Essential Starter Set, you will get the executive razor and the cartridges. You'll get trial size versions of the shave butter and of some body wash. And you will also get the One Wipe Charlie butt wipes. Now I actually wanna talk about these. I usually gloss over these because I'm embarrassed by them, but I got to tell you, I see more and more men using these wipes in public bathrooms recently, which is great. I'm so glad these are taking off because I think they're very hygienic and good for your bottom. But the other day I was in a public bathroom and this man walked out of a stall and he was like trying to sort of hide like in his fist and maybe like putting in his pocket a whole pack of some butt wipes that he'd gotten like at a grocery store. And again, love that guys are using these. But I was just like, oh, buddy, like, you gotta get you some of these single pack one wipe Charlies you can just throw in your pocket so you don't have to carry around that whole thing. So hopefully someone shares Dollar Shave Club with that man soon so that he can carry around some more convenient single packs. So again, in the Daily Essential Starter Set, you will get all of that to help you feel fresh and clean. And the $5 offer is available at dollarshaveclub.com slash jacksonbird. Once again, that's dollarshaveclub.com slash jacksonbird. So thank you again to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video and for having my back on my move this weekend because how convenient can you get? Just have everything I need right there for my toiletries, for my go bag for moving. But now I'd better get back to packing. So let's go. Katie, <laughs> what about this nutcracker? No. Look how big it is. You don't need, who, who needs a nutcracker that big? I do. I need all the nutcrackers. Just, this is gonna go on for my whole life. Just wait, I'm Forever. gonna collect them and I'm always gonna think of you judging me. <laughs> also, can we talk about the <laughs> poop emoji Santas? Elves? He's They're just holly poop. jolly, having a great time. <laughs> I don't know that that's a healthy color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably right. Perfectly sensible tree decoration. <laughs> and a thing that you would need to purchase from the store. Uh-huh. Listen, if I can have nutcrackers, Katie can have sticks. What, what's that? That's nice. It's, you just, it adds to the 
the fluff of the branches and like really fills in the gap. I like the this antlers is the on hill this I'm wreath. To die on. I forgot to mention that in um, Fort Lauderdale, the wreaths had starfish on them Aww. and seashells. Yeah. There's something about beach Christmas that's weird, but I'm people gotta do it. I just wanna like hide. Oh my goodness, they go so far back. <laughs> Keep going. Oh no, where'd Katie go? Whoa. This is how I'm gonna find your glitter my home from dreams. Now on. Yeah. Katie's hiding. We were just picking up. I had to get some materials for my Christmas cards. You had to get some baggies. Mm -hmm. I bought a jar. And we were about to go to the hardware store to pick up some more boxes because I need like more boxes, but then they had some at this store. So now we just have free boxes, which is even better and saves, saves us an errand. So now it's just back to more packing. Woo! It's the theme of Vlogmas, packing, packing, and more packing. <laughs> All right, it has been a busy evening of packing. We've got a bunch of stuff packed. We did the entire kitchen. There, well, Santa mug is still here. We've got like a mug each and a plate each left, but otherwise everything is getting empty. Emptied out most of that. So many boxes, more in the living room. Probably doesn't look like it to you, but trust me. We got a lot done tonight. So tomorrow is the last day before everyone comes to help move. So it's gonna be another big day of packing tomorrow. That said, I was so tired at 6 p.m. I thought it was 10 p.m. So <laughs> I am going to finish up Vlogmas and go to bed. Um, I want to say thank you one more time to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring today's Vlogmas video. If you want to watch the rest of the Vlogmas videos, there's a card or a end screen thing that you can click uh, to hit the Vlogmas playlist. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jack is not a bird. And hey, if you've got any moving and packing tips, things to keep you organized, things to keep your mental health up while you're moving, leave them in the comments because I love reading that stuff right now. Totally open to all tips and advice. But with that said, I will leave you for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.